we're gonna keep this Marvel Honest Trailers going with Honest Trailers Guardians of the Galaxy. Both movies, both Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 was awesome. Can't wait for the third one too, but they got delays going on because we got problems in the industry, in the Marvel Studios. Come on y'all, get it right so y'all can produce a great movie, keep all the fans happy, and keep Marvel a blaze at the top. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, okay, we got it. Keep your star pads on. <laughs> right. Everybody, boy. <laughs> Without the rights to some of its most popular titles and its biggest stars' contracts about to expire, watch Marvel Studios sweep the bottom of the barrel for their obscure 70s conflict that barely anyone read. Proving once and for all, we'll see anything if you slap Marvel's name in front of it. Guardians of the Galaxy. I did not see this movie when it comes out. In a when it came out about years ago, never heard of. I didn't know so, who it was or what it was about. Protecting a planet none of them live on from an underdeveloped alien villain whose problems you couldn't care less about. We're really reaching here. This is a fun movie. Journey across the galaxy to meet this gang of lovable misfits. There's Captain Star Lord from America, the human leader from a different time and place, like Captain America. Gamora, the, the Black, Black Widow's Widow leather clad female assassin, like Black, Black Widow. Drax, the, the guy with the killer ass, who doesn't understand our customs in a Thor kind of way. Groot, a big hulking tree. Get it? And it. Rocket, <laughs> the wise cracking tech genius with a drinking problem, like Tony Stark. What I'm trying to say is, they're the Space Avengers, but I guess it's technically not stealing it, they're ripping off themselves. Watch the Guardians race to find an excuse for more Avengers sequels by chasing after the Infinity Stone and they're, they're, they're the missing a power Hawkeye. that no one bothers to guard and a gem so powerful it can kill you just by touching it unless you're this guy or you can join hands to disperse its power unless you're these guys or you can just jam it into a hammer and use it safely from there it's best not to think about it too hard. Right. You thought the Avengers was nerdy? You ain't seen nothing yet. Between all the action and comedy, get ready for a whole lot of space mumbo jumbo. I've been a thousand years of pre-justice on What's important now is we get the Ravagers army to help us save Xandar. Then we can get them to the Yandu? The remnants of these systems were forged into concentrated things. Then, if you can figure any of that out, try to figure out why this blue alien isn't working with this blue alien who's working for this blue alien to kill this green alien who both want to kill this purple alien as does this Christmas colored alien. But if you get confused, just remember the hero is still the white guy. So experience the swagger of the movie studio drunk on its own power as Marvel throws the world with balls out middle fingers to the audience they know they have in the palm of their hands. Oh, you like superheroes? Well, yeah. how about a movie that stars a f***ing raccoon and a f***ing tree? Yeah. You like Vin Diesel? Yeah, well, we cast him and he only says one f***ing line. I am Groot. You want more petty breed actors? We'll put them in stupid outfits and make them say space bullshit. All Nova pilots, interlock, and four a block A. Because who doesn't want to be in a f***ing Marvel movie? Right. Hey, recognize that chubby idiot from Parks and Rec? We're gonna turn him into a sex symbol. That would be hilarious. Remember the worst movie we ever made, Howard the Duck? Sick that after the credits when everyone's expecting Avengers 2. It'll totally f*** with our fans and they'll love it anyways. <laughs> Speaking of which, remember Thanos from that one scene at the end of the Avengers a few years ago? Yep. Well, we're bringing him back, and he's still not doing sh**. <laughs> why? In a because f*** you. We're Marvel, that's why. What are you gonna do? Watch DC? Ha! Pew pew! Thought so. Sorry. Marvel Chris yeah, McKay, Green McKay, Green Materi, Drax on, Drax off, <laughs> Chief Barker, The Kid, <laughs> The Dr. Steve Rule, and Darkseid, Marvel Space Avengers. Uh oh. Okay, I get where Star Lord's Wolfman came from, but where do you get a tape deck for a spaceship? Galaxy Shack? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. 
Hey, hey Swing Junkies, junkies. want to see the coolest swing set ever, ever built? Then click the box to the left to see our friends at Superfan Build surprise at Guardians of the Galaxy Superfan with their very own Groot Swing. Just tell them the epic voice sent you. You said it yourself, bitch. We are the Guardians of the Galaxy. I like pie. Pie is triangle. Shapes. Donkey teeth. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? The dark side and the light. Babbling, bumbling band of baboons. These pretzels are making you thirsty. <laughs> yes! Guardians of the Galaxy was that movie. See, this is what happened. I skipped Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, when it comes to going to the movies to see it, see it I skipped Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America. Then I skipped the Avengers. I skipped Iron Man 3, Thor 2, and Captain America Winter Soldiers. But I went to see H.O. Tron and I skipped Captain um, The Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Then uh, I skipped I skipped that man, but then I started going to the movies and see uh, Civil War. I saw Civil War 3. Then I skipped uh, Doctor Strange. And then that's when I started going to the movies constantly to see the Marvel movies. It started with Guardians of the Galaxy 2, then Spider Man, and so on and so forth. But then, like, I didn't. It didn't occur to me like how good these movies was when I bought the DVD. Then I was like, man, I need to start going to the movies and see these. These are day one. I don't want to be spoiled for nothing. So yeah, that's how it all started. I regret skipping these movies, but I promise I won't skip none of it no more at all. But anyway guys, post, it, play it up, post your comments down below, let me know what you guys thought. If y'all enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 3 million subscribers, I am out of 7,000. Oh, and one more thing. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where's the hat? It's somewhere, because I've seen it. I wouldn't buy it. Must be in the other one. You know what? Anyway, it don't matter. Oh, is this it right here? Yup, this is it. I would like to take a moment of silence and remember the late and great Stan, the man, Lee. He changed the world with his genius, with his comedic his comic book stories and being just a kind and fun and funny man he introduced the world with um, Marvel superheroes he created Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black, Eye, Black Willow, Hulk Eye and the list goes on and on and he will be loved and he will be missed so I just would like to take a moment of silence to remember the man Stan Lee. We love you, Stan. And we're going to miss you, man. Three million subscribers. I'm out of 7,000. See you.